morning. Yeah, not in the usual place. Where I stayed last night, Premier Inn. Where I've had breakfast. And now, just about to jump in the motor, go down to the East New England Koi Show, the All England. So, see you there in a little while. Two of them in there, I'll do me for 70 quid for the two. 
Zo nog gewoon weg. Nee. Oh, mate, cheers, thank you. people want it. That's the thing, it says people want it. Look at that looking champion.
why they started to thrash a bit. Yeah, but it's because it's, it's, they've got fresh water coming in. I like the sun for winter is wheat germ but I do like my um Change your minds. Yeah, we did. And then everything was quite good. Jim Rinchang. Ah, 
JPG. Typical, isn't it? Huh? That's another one inside another one, that's why. Yeah. 75 pounds for a 10 kilo bag. Yeah. I'm not gonna spend 150 quid. That's the food, that's the food I always feed. That's the food I feed. So good. That with the growth stuff this year. Oh, not long back from the uh, from the show. Unfortunately, I didn't really do that much filming. Um, busy nattering, talking away, and uh, as soon as I thought I'd do a bit of filming, then um, I bump into somebody else and start nattering and. Then my lovely other half would be pulling me off in another direction to look at something different. So, yeah, as you saw, not a great deal of footage, but anyway, back. Um, brought myself uh, some food, brought myself 10 kilograms of food. I'll spin you around. So, there you go. That's uh, another 10 kilograms of Shogun, which is uh, what I feed. What I feed in. Uh, winter because I'm heated and, and I got myself look stand it up there out of the way all the times I've been after one I got myself a proper JPD um, food bin I should keep that one still though because that's a handy little bin and that one but I shall use that one and then that one I'll probably put some other type of food in there but yeah and also, I know it's getting dark, but yes, I know. Well, before the show, I managed to get rid of um, a couple of fish, um, so I had room. And uh, I know it's dark, but I'll get it out in a minute, put it in a bowl, and show you what I got. So, what we have in there. Is an almost completely black koi. It's just got a bit of white on the tip of his fin there. Uh, you can't see there, but there's a little patch of white on his cheek. And if you roll him over, he's got a white underbelly. Um, 
it's different names. So I think people, so there's a lot of different names for the black koi. So I think probably the most common one is Karasu. Um, uh, you're saying, well, why a black koi? Isn't it a bit boring? Um, well, in some people's eyes it is, and maybe once it's in the pond you might not see it that often, except when it comes up to feed you can get a big pair of white lips coming up. But in Japanese culture, it's um, believed that uh, black koi, or the colour black, absorbs bad luck. Um, so to put a black koi in your pond, it absorbs all the bad luck and protects the other koi. Um, so basically it's like, like a good luck charm for the rest of the pond so it's just traditional to have um, a single black koi in with your other koi and personally I you know I do quite like it uh, I have looked out for one before and I've not seen many that are as clean as this one and the truth is the matter they do change quite a bit as well they have a bit of a they can have a bit of a sort of like um, a chameleon effect whereas uh, they will change colour slightly to match their environment but obviously because the floor of my pond's dark he should stay completely black he might go light brown or something like that in summer you know dark brown in summer but mainly black and well, I just like it anyway but that's the reasoning behind it and like I said I moved a couple of fish out just for the show, so I've got room for it now anyway, without upsetting the uh, water balance and upsetting the rest of the fish. So I'll get them in the pond, and probably never to be seen again until he comes up for feeding and you see the lips. Nah, only joking. Um, it will grow to a quite a good size because they're fairly closely related to sort of like the uh, common carp, the um, sort of thing. I think Marig uh, Marigoy is another name for some of them given, but yeah, Karasu is uh, the name that they're known for most. And like I said, it's just a good luck thing, traditional. Right, get it in the pond, the fish is all in, uh, all settled. Following morning, uh, just had a quick look at him, uh, make sure he's all right. But yeah, everything's good. Glasses are pulling, oh, pulling me a uh, top down. Anyway, I said I was going to do the giveaway this week, and I'm going to. So, um, no particular, no particular um, reason apart from that I've got said I was going to do it, and like I said, uh, I've got access to uh, Hannah Meter at a slight discount. So, um, not sponsored by Hannah or anybody that's uh, providing it, it's just because I brought some money, I've earned myself some discount points, so I thought I'd give back to you guys out there. So, for a Hannah meter of your choice, right, all you've got to do is be subscribed to the channel, and I will go through and have a little look-see. Um, like the video, even though it's not the best one, but like the video, and then answer this question. my main filtration so what am I running as my main filtration so just put the answers down in the comments down below uh, I'll run this for get make it two weeks um, so I'll do the draw not uh, so we'll see uh, so 17th 18th round about then sorry uh, 17th 18th I'll do the draw on then so it's about two weeks it'll be running for and um, yeah, good luck. Nice easy question. So like I said, for a Hannah meter of your choice, no special reason I'm doing it, it's just to give just to subscribe the giveaway. Um just in time for Christmas really, isn't it? So it's pretty handy. Yeah. What is the filtration, the main filter that I'm running on my pond? Uh, that's all you've got to do. So you've got to be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and then comment down below. Alright guys, good luck with that. Yeah, and uh, look forward to seeing your answers. Nice, easy one. If you've been following the channel, you should know. It's quite easy, you see it all the time. All right. All right, guys, so good luck with that, if, uh, if you're entering. Uh, so that'll run for two weeks. 
and uh, look after your ponds, look after yourselves, stay safe, get your double jab and all that sort of stuff. Uh, get your flu jab and booster combined as well, yeah. Um, that's coming, so you're going to go down and be able to get your... If you're over 50, if you're in my age group, that is, uh, not you young whippersnappers out there, if you're 50 plus, they're uh, going to be offering the combined uh, COVID booster and uh, flu jab at the same time. <laughs> Happy days, poor old arm. But yeah, all right, people, thanks very much for sticking with me. Uh, big welcome to all the new subscribers, all my old subscribers. Cheers, muckers. You're brilliant staying with me. Thank you very much. Um, winter time's coming so content's going to get a bit hard so it might be going back to the old uh, how to's and what for's and stuff like that but I'll keep it going throughout the winter alright everybody look after yourselves stay safe and remember in a hobby it's a lifestyle catch you soon see you bye 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 <laughs>